<laughs> Kaplan is gone. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all you lovely faces wherever you may be in the world watching this wonderful video. I did say I was uh, not uploading this week because I'm going away tomorrow on Wednesday and I, was, I had to get stuff ready, you know, I didn't have enough time. But this popped up yesterday and I was like, you know what, I need to put this out there, otherwise it's going to be... What the hell's going on, you know? Because I just got to get my thoughts out for this. Because, as you can see by the thumbnail, by the actual video title as well. Roberta Kaplan, the most hypocritical person on the face of this planet, along with a few others that we don't like. Well, she's been fired, or resigned, from Time's Up. Let's jump into it. So... Obviously, last week there was uh, Andrew Cuomo, whatever his name is. The file and letter came out saying that he actually did a numerous horrible things to a couple of people. And they come out and they said, no, he did this to us. And he decided to go to Roberta Kaplan, you know, the person who's defending uh, AH or did. Then she said, oh, no, I can't uh, come to you because of gas prices. Ridiculous. And obviously you've had her... Defend Harvey Weinstein, the person the Time's Up and the Me Too movement went against and why it was created, because of people like him. So obviously, when you have someone like her defending those people, and then you're defending someone else who's been accused of all of this, and then you're trying to get them off the hook, I think it's amazing, because so many people have gone against her now, and it is... It's karma. So, this is what we got. Time's Up leader Roberta Kaplan resigns after criticism for reportedly aiding Andrew Cuomo on this allegations. Robbie Kaplan, board co-chair, has stepped down from the board. We and she agree that is the right and appropriate thing to do. Time's Up said. With Time's Up saying we and she, they forced her out. They're like, you need to go now. Well, you can make it look like you resigned to save face. That's what happened. Time's Up Chairwoman Roberta Kaplan resigned on Monday after a report from the New York Attorney General said she counselled Governor Andrew Cuomo when a former advisor accused him of this last year. The organisation, which fights for gender equality and advocates on behalf of all victims, announced her resignation in a statement on Monday, which we do actually have. We're going to look through it. We've worked to hold power accountable in boardrooms, in the halls of government, and in organisations big and small, and we have felt uniquely capable of doing so, because many of us have worked in those very institutions, the organisation said. Yet, we recognise that their work has sometimes resulted in a lack of trust from the, board up, sorry, the broader survivor community we serve and to which we also belong. We are looking within. The group added... Robbie Kaplan, board co-chair, has stepped down from the board. We and she agree that is the right and appropriate thing to do. When someone says, or a company says, we and she agrees that this is the right and appropriate thing to do, that is literally being pushed out the door. They fired her and got rid of her because of what they've done. That is exactly what's happened here. We've seen it before. We've seen it against someone who's been accused and they are literally the victim in all of this. Johnny Depp. In a resignation letter, which we do have, like I said, she said she could not openly discuss details about her involvement with Andrew Cuomo as a practicing lawyer. Yeah, so with that, they're using the, uh, you know, client uh, confidentiality thing and all that bullshit. I therefore have reluctantly come to the conclusion that an active litigation practice is no longer compatible with serving on the board at Time's Up at this time, and I hereby resign. She did not immediately respond to a request for comment on Monday. Her resignation was announced uh, came shortly after more than 40 people came out about that this has happened, and they published an open letter on Medium to the board of Time's Up, which is a fantastic uh, read. We're not going to read it all, but we are going to read the excerpts that uh, the news site has got in. Criticising the organisation for having betrayed the very people it was supposed to champion. The board continues to fail to heed the outcry from survivors. Time's Up is failing all survivors. 
Investigators said Kaplan reviewed an unpublished op-ed that undermined Lindsay Bolan, the first woman to publicly accuse Cuomo of this, according to the report the State Attorney General's Office issued Tuesday. In their letter, the survivors called Kaplan's behaviour questioning, which it is, because why are you helping people who you're meant to be going against? Whether or not you agreed to help, perpetrators of harm felt comfortable reaching out to you for crisis management. That is a problem. Time's Up cannot call for shining a light on this and justice while working with our abusers in the shadows. To me, that is 100% correct, because it's basically going to your father or your mother or a close friend, telling them what's happened, and hoping to get their help, and then they go and help the people who's done it to you. That's exactly what it is. Trying to shut you up. It's almost like, all right, let me see what I can do. Go over, huh, I got that, mate. Just tell me what you want me to tell them and I'll just make it all okay. That's exactly what they've done. And it's disgusting. The report also alleged that uh, Andrew Cuomo done this to almost a dozen women, including employees in his office, and violated state and federal laws. He's disputed the allegations and forcefully denied wrongdoing, and he has not been charged with a crime. He has also ignored renewed calls to resign after the report was released. He should be gone. There has to be some kind of law that if obviously what happened, they can get rid of him. Has to be. Melissa DeRosa, a top aide to Andrew Cuomo, resigned on Sunday after the uh, report was released, saying in a statement, the last two years have been emotionally and mentally trying. Kaplan represented DeRosa in the Attorney General's investigation. And this is what we got, guys. This is the letter. We're going to blow it up for you. Okay, we can't blow it up. God damn it. Sorry, guys. But I will leave a link to the letter below as well. But this is what we got. Dear Nina, as you know, I helped establish and lead Time's Up and the Time's Up Legal Defense Fund since their creation four years ago. Time's Up grew out of the belief that if women leaders used our influence to work with those in power to hold them accountable, we could make real strides forward but you're helping the opposition instead. We certainly have. Looking back over the last four years, we have accomplished more than I can think of any of us thought possible. Perhaps even more importantly, we did it together, in sisterhood and solidarity, bringing together our respective expertise, networks and experiences to elevate women's voices, advance new legislation and force the culture to recognise that the status quo was no longer working. Straight away, she goes into saying, look what we've done. But sisters, we can do this. To me, that's her being hypocritical to them. It's like, oh, I got these guys on the short and curly. She is mocking them by saying that. Look what we did. Look what I did. I did this. I did that. We did it together as sisters. But you're out there helping the people who has been accused of doing these horrible things. You're thinking that's fine to go and help them. Just because you got paid a substantial amount of money for doing the Time's Up movement. Because if you remember, all the money they raised went on salaries, galas and dinners. We've seen the reports. We reported on this channel of all of that. Unfortunately, recent events have made it clear that even our apparent allies in the fight to advance women can turn out to be this. We have felt the raw, personal and profound pain of that betrayal. You're the betrayal, uh, Kaplan. It's you. It has raised important questions about how and why Time's Up does what it does, as well as demands on the part of advocates and staff for a kind of radical transparency. My work as a lawyer is paramount to my identity and critical to the way I've advocated for and achieved lasting change. It is, after all, how I helped the win marriage equality by representing Eddie Windsor. See, this is what fucks me off. Reading through all of this, she's going... She's meant to be resigning. This is a, a resignation letter. But it's going out, well, look what I've done. Look what I've done. Look at me, I've done this for you. I did that for you. And now I have to resign. This letter is a big fuck you to people and is absolutely disgusting that she thought that this was fine. She should be held accountable for what she has done. She has made victims' lives horrendous. 
I really don't understand how people can think that she's amazing. You know, oh, look what she's done for people. No, you are using all of these now to advance your own fucking life. No, it's wrong. Where were we? My law firm, which was founded around the same time as Time's Up, has taken on and continues to take on some of the most challenging and difficult matters, including three cases against Donald Trump, as well as cases against Jeffrey Epstein, the white supremacist responsible for the violence in Charlottesville, group trying to undermine the legitimacy of the 2020 election, and many survivors of this and this who names I cannot mention. No, Roberta Kaplan, you have literally just put that paragraph there saying... I'm amazing. I've done more than any of you. That is exactly what she's saying to him. Basically, this letter, like I said, they've said to her, we don't want you. You're helping the opposition. This is what you've done. We want you gone. And she's like, oh, I'll resign then. I'll put in my letter later. Which is what she has. And the letter, as you can see so far, it's kind of got me worked up a little bit, so I do apologise. She is making a mockery of victims. She's using people of the same-sex marriage case she did. <gasps> well, I helped them get married. And see, but the, you know, the thing with Donald Trump, again, everyone either loves him or hates him. He's like, he's like Marmite. Well, I done this against Donald Trump. Kaplan, you've been found out. You're a liar. You're a hypocrite. You are one of the worst false people in this entire world. Putting aside whether a model of radical transparency on the part of his leaders would have been consistent with many, if not most, of times of achievements, I am a practicing lawyer sworn to uphold vital ethical duties of loyalty and confidentiality. Simply put, the standards that apply to lawyers are different from and more stringent than ethical norms that apply to others. And I believe those standards are essential, not only for the profession as a whole, but also for the administration of justice. As a result, I cannot offer the degree of transparency about my firm's matters now being demanded, since that would contrary contra to my responsibilities as a lawyer. I therefore have reluctantly come to the conclusion that an active litigation practice is no longer compatible with serving on the board of Time's Up as this time and hereby resign. It has been difficult for me to reach this decision in light of the cha challenges facing women today, now more than ever, and especially in light of the consequences of the ongoing pandemic, we know that time is still very much up, and that much more change needs to happen. I look forward to continuing the fight for change and to advancing the mission we all share. Very truly yours, Roberta Kaplan. With her saying that very truly yours at the end instead of kind regards or anything like that, that just goes to show that she is a piece of shit and she's just sticking her fingers up to the people saying, well, if I'm going, I'm going to do this. And that's exactly what she's done. And to be honest with you, I am so happy that she is no longer part of this. And it just goes to show that this person, what she does is nothing but just making people miserable. And it's horrible for what she has done. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming to the show tonight. It's been a bit of a uh, bit of a big thing, this is obviously because she is gone. But if you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates, and I'll see each and every one of you soon. Stay safe out there, have fun, and I'll see you all next week.